Welcome students. Today we will discuss the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. The inverse trigonometric functions are the inverse functions of the trigonometric functions. Specifically, they are the inverses of sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant functions. Let's come to the derivative of these functions. When f of x is equal to sine inverse x, in place of f of x, we can write y is equal to sine inverse x. Applying sine on both sides of the equation, we get sine y is equal to x. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, that is d by dx of sine y is equal to d by dx of x. We are going to differentiate sine function with respect to x, but it has y as its parameter. Therefore, according to the rules of derivatives, we will write the derivative of sine function, and in multiplication, we will write the derivative of y with respect to x. Therefore, we will write cosine of y, which is the derivative of sine y, and d by dx of y, which is the derivative of y, with respect to x, which is equal to 1, since the derivative of x, with respect to x, is equal to 1. Now dividing both sides by cosine of y, or we can say that, as on the left hand side, the cosine y is in multiplication, therefore, on right hand side, it will be in division. We know, from trigonometric identities, that cosine square plus sine square is equal to 1. From this identity, we have cosine of y is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine square y, putting this value in equation 2. We have the next step. From equation 1, we know that sine of y is equal to x. Therefore, replacing sine square by x square. Hence we got the derivative of sine inverse x, which is 1 divide by the square root of 1 minus x square. Dear students, when f of x is equal to sine inverse x, then its derivative f prime of x will be equal to 1 divide by the square root of 1 minus x square. Let's come to the derivative of cosine inverse x. When f of x is equal to cosine inverse x, in place of f of x, we can write y is equal to cosine inverse x. Applying cosine of y on both sides of the equation, we get cosine of y is equal to x. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, that is d by dx of cosine y is equal to d by dx of x. We are going to differentiate cosine function with respect to x, but it has y as its parameter. Therefore, according to the rule of derivatives, we will write the derivative of cosine function and in multiplication we will write the derivative of y with respect to x. Therefore, we will write minus sine y, which is the derivative of cosine function. And in multiplication we will write d by dx of y, which is the derivative of y with respect to x and is equal to 1 as 1 is the derivative of x with respect to x. Now dividing both sides by minus sine y, or we can say that on left hand side minus sine y is in multiplication, therefore on right hand side it will be in division. We know from trigonometric identities that cosine square plus sine square is equal to 1. From this identity we have sine of y is equal to the square root of 1 minus cosine square of y. Putting this value in equation 2, we have the next step. From equation 1, we know that cosine of y is equal to x. Therefore, replacing cosine y square by x square. Hence, we got the derivative of cosine inverse of x, which is minus 1, divide by the square root of 1 minus x square. Dear students, when f of x is equal to cosine inverse of x, then its derivative f prime of x will be equal to minus 1 divide by the square root of 1 minus x square. Let's come to the derivative of tangent inverse x. When f of x is equal to tangent inverse x, in place of f of x, we can write y is equal to tangent inverse x. Applying tangent on both sides of the equation, we get tangent of y is equal to x. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, 
that is, d by dx of tangent y is equal to d by dx of x. We are going to differentiate tangent function with respect to x, but it has y as its parameter. Therefore, according to the rule of derivative, we will write the derivative of tangent function and in multiplication we will write the derivative of y with respect to x. Therefore we will write secant square x which is the derivative of tangent with respect to x and in multiplication we will write d by dx of y which is the derivative of y with respect to x and is equal to 1 as 1 is the derivative of x with respect to x. Now dividing both sides by secant square y or we can say that on left hand side secant square y is in multiplication therefore on right hand side it will be in division. We know from trigonometric identities that tangent square y plus 1 is equal to secant square y. Putting this value of secant square in equation 2, we get the next step. Which is dy by dx is equal to 1 divide by tangent square y plus 1. Since tangent y is equal to x from equation number 1. Therefore, replacing tangent y by x. Hence, we got the derivative of tangent inverse x which is 1 divide by x square plus 1. Dear students, when f of x is equal to tangent inverse x, then its derivative f prime of x will be equal to 1 divide by x square plus 1. Let's come to the derivative of secant inverse x. When f of x is equal to secant inverse x, we can replace f of x by y, that is, y is equal to secant inverse x. Applying secant on both sides, we get secant of y is equal to x. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, that is, d by dx of secant y is equal to d by dx of x. We are going to differentiate secant function with respect to x, but it has y as its parameter. Therefore, according to the rules of derivatives, we will write the derivative of secant function, and in multiplication, we will write the derivative of y, with respect to x. Therefore, writing secant y, into tangent y, which is the derivative of secant with respect to x, and d by, dx, of y, which is the derivative of y, with respect to x, and is equal to 1, which is the derivative of x, with respect to x. Now divide both sides by secant y, tangent y, or we can say that, as tangent and secant are in multiplication with dy, by dx, therefore, they will be in division when shifted to right hand side. We know by trigonometric identities, that secant square y, is equal to tangent square y, plus 1. Therefore, the value of tangent y, will be the square root of secant square y, minus 1. Putting this value in equation number 2. We have dy by dx is equal to 1 divide by secant y into the square root of secant square y minus 1. Since secant y is equal to x from equation 1. Therefore, replacing secant y by x. And hence in this way, we got the derivative of secant inverse x. Which is 1 divide by x into the square root of x square minus 1. When f of x is equal to secant inverse x, then its derivative, f prime of x, will be equal to, 1 divide by, x into, the square root of x square, minus 1. Dear students, I hope, you understood the techniques of differentiating the inverse trigonometric functions. Therefore, I have left the remaining two inverse trigonometric functions derivatives, for you as an assignment. Try to differentiate them yourself. See you in next lecture. Thank you for watching.